short of turning the schools into to, to prisons with high fences and all that around it, a lot of it is just trying to excel at what we do have now. Local school resource officers are being challenged. The biggest challenge fights disrupting your child's learning. Guilford County officers say the violence between students is more intense than ever before. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Madison Forsey sat down with the lead SRO at the Guilford County Sheriff's Office, whose main focus is making your child's school safer every day. Madison, help us understand what officers are dealing with daily. Well, it's mostly those fights that Neil just mentioned. So far this year, they filed 50 different reports of fights that have spanned out across the 14 schools that the Guilford County Sheriff's Office serves. They knew early on that it was going to be a tough year. The SRO in, in, in your child's school is probably dealing with 100 things more than the SRO 10 years ago was dealing with. Fights, online threats, and weapons. There is more work involved and more, more fear involved as to what bad could happen there. Um, but if you're not that type of officer, it's, it is much harder a sell now to get someone to want to do that work than it ever was before. 14 Guilford County deputies cover seven middle schools and seven high schools in the county. Captain Brian Hall says one SRO at each school gets the job done. Some days having two or three on campus would not be enough. <laughs> this is what they can encounter. You're just always asking yourself the question, what, what are you fighting about? What is so bad that this was your best course of action? At times, they've had to use pepper spray to regain order, like at this Southern Guilford High School football game on October 7th. The fights of, of 10 years ago, that it would end when the, uh, when the adults showed up. Now the adult sometimes gets included into it. Captain Hall sees the same kids involved in these fights getting suspended multiple times. It seems like at every stage, we've removed consequences and then we wonder why the behavior seems to be getting worse. He says more accountability and stricter consequences at school and home would help cut down on disruptions. When it starts to look like you're not getting any return on your investment, it makes you as law enforcement officers question your strategy. Captain Hall believes the new touchless scanners at traditional high schools in Guilford County are helping with things. That a student may think, I, I, I won't even try to bring something in because it may get called. Members of the Guilford County Sheriff's Office are planning to sit down with Dr. Whitney Oakley of Guilford County Schools on Wednesday to go over a new strategy about how to stop the fighting and keep everyone safe. In Greensboro, Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News.